Comet Wirtanen is like a transport shuttle between Jupiter and Earth, and it is bringing the fun, baby. If there's one thing we need more of, it's fun. And you know how to defeat Thanos? That's right, with fun. So if you look, yeah, it's coming pretty dang close. Exciting times indeed. So grab you a sweetie and get ready to do see do because my science is lit, and here we go. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. We have a new romantic comedy on our hands. 46P Wirtanen approaches 30 lunar distances on December 16th, 2018. Color me impressed. Bamf. Hey, look, it teleports. Bamf. Just like Nightcrawler in the X-Men. Will Comet 46P Wirtanen kill us all? Nah, probably not. It takes some really bizarre event, like an interstellar spaceship would have to crash into it and knock it off course. Spaghetti monsters would have to catch it in a glove and fling it at us. Or it would have to be super packed with some type of black death synogen dust from another galaxy. But it's from our galaxy. It's a periodic comet, so it didn't kill a lot of people before. Probably won't kill people now. But it's 2018. You never know. So let's say there's a 0.0001% chance that people could die. <laughs> you know, can't rule it out. I mean, you can. And eh, do whatever you want to do. Hey, look, it teleports. Bamf. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. I don't know what's going on. Active Volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents, and here we go. Being so old and hat at this, I know that the three main average American questions are, is it going to kill us? Is it going to hurt us? And will I be able to see it? 99.9% chance, no, it won't kill us. 99.8% chance, it won't quote unquote hurt us, asterisk. And it can be argued that moisture needs something to form upon, and that this comet will definitely be adding micron sized grains of dust to our planet in the future, which will be increasing the amount of rain that our planet will be getting. You see, yeah, it will contribute to the change year Earth weather changes. It will make the Earth weather changes a little more changier, and if we are not prepared, then it is dangerous. That's true. A lot of astronomers don't know jack shit about weather, volcanoes, or earthquakes. Or maybe they do and they just hide it really well. Who am I to judge? And to the third question, will I be able to see it? The answer is yes. Yes, you will. If conditions are correct, and you put a little mental elbow grease into finding the best spot with the least light pollution. Now, the biggest question people ask me is where can I find it? And the answer is right there. Just draw a straight line from Orion's right shoulder, Beetle Geese, straight up, and that's where you should find it, in between Aldebaran and Hamal. Of course, it's north of your anus. Those jokes are too easy. I try not to make them, but sometimes I can't resist. Will you forgive me, baby? Hey, look, there's Eris. Hey, Eris. Bitch. I love you, but I love everyone. Don't get too excited. Bitch. All right, as of a little afternoon on a Tuesday, Comet 46P Wirtanen. Wirtanen is at a magnitude 4.2. And so, the lowest estimates of its brightness I've seen anywhere have it at a 3.7. And so it is just 0.5 magnitude away. Could it get lower than 3.7? Absolutely. Anything's possible in 2018. This says it'll get a 3.9 magnitude on December 16th. It's in the constellation Cetus, which rhymes with fetus, and Betus, and Metus, Edus. Okay, please don't get mad if I go off the rails. Right, see, this is a constellation, and its name refers to a sea monster. Okay, great. Although it's often called the whale. Whales aren't really monsters, and if they swallow you, the inside of them is like a small efficiency apartment. I learned that from Moby Dick. Maybe it was the cliff notes of Moby Dick, I don't remember. What better time for a good buzz than the holiday season? But remember, Asteroid Fight Club parties hard, but they party smart. Don't let me down. A geminid. Buzz's Comet Wirtanen, the radiant of the Geminid meteor shower, is not very far from approaching Comet 46P Wirtanen. Their respective constellations, Gemini and Taurus, are next door neighbors. That means comet photographers can expect to catch some Geminids in their exposures. Indeed, that's exactly what happened to Joe Lawton on December 9th. The MOFO was exposed. A Geminid meteor blazed across the sky and disintegrated next to the comet. And there is talk that this will cause a meteor shower. But scientists say a lot of shit, man. We will cover that in the next video on this subject. I combined a series of still images to create this video. 
you can see a smoky debris from the geminid meteor twisting in the winds of the upper atmosphere and ultimately dissipating hot like fire. The photographs are impressive, and the tail structure dynamics always fascinate me. Oh my god. Wow, look at the tail on that thing. Oh my god. You get lost in that tail for hours. It's like the perfect shape. Oh, this comet is so active. And this is a nice picture. This is a cool picture. Why don't you spectroscopy that shit for me, bro? And then when you're done, spectroscopy a hot dog and some chicken nuggets. And this is a decent photograph coming to us from Italy. But my question for flat earthers is, knowing that comets have been recorded for thousands of years, if the earth is flat, are our alien overlords that are keeping us in a petri dish sending comets by that we can see every hundred or so years when we start to catch on to their, oh my God, the world is flat and riding on a turtle face, you know? They're like, oh my God, they realize the earth is flat. Send a comet, that'll throw them off. You know what I'm saying? That's one strong turtle. I like turtles. I like all animals, really. I say crazy stuff, like we are gonna build a city of the future called Stanley City. And some people say comets are bad omens. Ah, it's 2018. Do we even need omens? What we need is more dancing, more good jokes that aren't at people's expense. You know, you can tell a joke where another individual is not the butt of the punchline. I don't know if you knew that. It's true. Less than a week away. I don't have a date for this comet or Christmas. Keeping my expectations low. But I know that small miracles and big miracles happen all the time. So let's manifest some cool shit. All right, here we go. This is a cool photo. See, the comet's impressive. She's like pink gold. don't need to ask the government. Stay cool. Hey, if you don't shut up, I shall fireball, fireball your face. This is a Thor News presentation. Exciting stuff. Stay cool. And I love you. Hello, Angel. You know.